up YouTube, Tim Flo Crazy, and I got a special box opening today that I've been looking forward to for a really long time. We have the Dragons of Legend booster box, and as it says right here, the wait is finally over. I've been opening, I've been waiting for this booster box for a while now because I've wanted all the cards from Season 4 of Yu-Gi-Oh! and a few others from GX, so... To be honest, I'm, I haven't really caught up on Zexel or 5Ds. I think there's cards for them too. I've just been brushing up on my GX. So I'm going to recognize most of the cards in here. And I didn't look at the card list because I thought I'll just get the box and uh, surprise myself. So that's what I'm going to be doing. And of course, we're going to want the three warriors, Dark Magician Girl Knight... Tamias, Hermos, and Critias, the three dragons, which is the main attraction here. So, if you don't know a lot about this pack, it's um, five cards, four supers, and one secret rare, I believe, in every single one. I'm not sure if they have ultras or ultimates, but you never know. And I don't think I've seen a video up on YouTube yet of someone opening an entire booster box yet. I've actually had this for two days now, but I got it early from a local store. So, let's get a good look at that, and then we'll get right to it. Entire set includes 30 super rare cards, 4 cards per pack, and 21 secret rare cards, 1 per pack. Those are nice statistics right there. I like what I'm hearing. Alright, well... Not gonna hold off. Let's get to it. Ripping this plastic. The greatest feeling. Alright. Open that. Ooh, nice box full of full of greatness. Alright, there we have that. So you can see. 24 booster packs, nice, nice handful. So, let's set that like that. And uh, I haven't looked up anything about this pack because I wanted to be surprised, so I'm not going to know which card goes for more, which card goes for less. But so I'm not going to be too excited for every single card, but I will be excited for any card I do know. So, I'm, of course, I want Tamias, Critias, and Hermos. That's my most wanted card. So, let's get to it. First pack. Okay. Lionhearted Locomotive. And I'll stop saying the cards when... They start getting repetitive. Super rare. When this card declares an attack, its attack becomes half of its original attack at the end of the damage step. Fair trade off. Shadow Impulse. Reaper Scythe, Dread Scythe. Black Wing, the Steam Cloak. And for this pack, Secret, we have Shooting Star. If a Stardust monster is on the field, target one card on the field and destroy it clutch because his staple is Stardust Dragon so I'm just gonna I'll be putting the supers on here secrets right here it's gonna be a pretty big differential ratio but I'm gonna apologize if it's a long video this is my first booster box opening so Pack two. All right, Shadow Impulse again. We got a number C106 Giant Red Hand. Guardian Iatos. This is uh, a staple card. I'm kind of excited for this. It's nice. It belonged to one of the main bad guy from Season 4's cards. He's, he's the only guy to defeat Yugi in a duel can't believe I forgot his name, but Guardian Iatos. Battle Fusion. And for the secret, Curry Bandit. Huh. That's funny. Alright. That over 
here, right here, and then down. Once again, apologies if it takes long. My first booster box. All right, Ayers Rock Sunrise. And I'll stop calling out the rarities because by now we should know it's four supers and then one secret at the end. So, Ayers Rock Sunrise. Number C5 Chaos Chimera Dragon. Sabatile the Philosopher's Stone. Magic Hand. And a secret Dobo Posse. I'm gonna see what this card does. When your opponent adds a card from their deck to their hand except drawing, let me get that clear for you. Drawing except during the damage step, you could send that card to the graveyard. And if you do inflict 800 damage to your opponent, this effect can only be used once while this card is face up on the field. That's cool. Double posse. Keep that like that. Can open every booster this quick. Spoke too soon. All right, and there's new black wing cards that come in this too, so it's pretty cool that you get to see new ones. Black wing, hurricane, the tornado, prominence hand, relay soul, lily bot, and fire hand. I didn't think there was like a magic hand before. Yes, yeah, so we got the. The Hand Brothers. <clears throat> okay. Another Black Wing. Hurricane the Tornado. Guardian Iatos, which I will gladly have another one. Flash Fusion. Fusion summon one fusion monster from your Ector deck using materials you control as fusions. Destroy it during the end phase. Hmm. Having trouble seeing if that's worth it or not. Lilybot again. And Ra's Disciple. Ooh. This is nice. When this card is summoned, you could special summon up to two Ra's Disciples from your hand or deck. Cannot be tributed except for the tribute summon of Slifer the Sky Dragon, Obelisk the Tormentor, or the Winged Dragon of Ra. You cannot special summon monsters except by this effect. Wow. That is a sick card right there. And it's a secret rare. I'm loving that. I would love to get two more so that I can actually implement that strategy. I love cards. I'll help you summon more cards because that is the key to everything. Okay. See, there's locomotives in this. Lion-hearted locomotive. Another flash fusion. Blackwing the steam cloak. Blackwing Orochi the squall. And Berserker soul. Alright. Getting a few repeats already. Rising Sun Slash. Okay. Equipped only to a Utopia. Nice. Prominent Hand. There's a third hand we've gotten. Assault Dog. Soul Charge. Someone actually told me about this card, so I'm going to take the time to read it. Target any number of monsters in your graveyard. Special Summon them, and if you do, you lose a thousand life points for each monster special summoned by this effect. You cannot conduct your battle phase a turn you activate this card. You can only activate one soul charge per turn. So you can pretty much self special summon everything you want. And our fourth hand, Ice Hand. Nice. Probably read them later, see what they all do. Alright. So I see the, the three dragons and the warriors might be a little more rare. To pull, considering we haven't got any of them yet. Okay, here we go again. Magic hand, another soul charge, which I don't mind having. Mm -hmm. Construction train signal red. Got the train card, train connection. Oh, and guardian dread scythe. 
I'm pretty sure that's the guy on the box right there. Yes, it is. I'm sure this is a good card. I haven't looked up any values yet, so... And I'm going to be completely honest with you, that effect is really long, so I'm going to hold this here for like a second. You could pause the video if you want to read it. Alright. Keep it moving. Especially because I'm already taking so much time opening these packs that I don't want to hold you guys for longer than you need to be. Celestial Sword Iatos. This is definitely equipped with the other Iatos card. Train Connection, Black Wing Revenge, Train Construction, Train Signal Red, and Guarded Treasure. Activate this card by discarding five cards. Draw two cards while this card on the field. Draw two cards instead of one for your normal draw phase during your draw phase. Nice. That is a very nice card. One I might consider using too if it's not banned. I don't know if these come complying to the ban list rules or since they're new cards they might have to review them and then see we'll see all right assault dog pear syroid <laughs> these are um what's that guy's name cyrus truesdale reaper scythe dread scythe black wing revenge Oh, let, all right, we have a card with the dragons on it. Legend of Heart. Pay 2,000 life points and tribute one dragon warrior type monster. Banish up to three legendary dragon spell cards with different names from your hand and or graveyard. And if you do, special that many legendary knight monsters with different names from your hand, deck, and or graveyard. You can activate Legend of Heart once per turn. Cool, cool. So I guess all the cards from Season 4 go together. Number C67, this guy is on the box as well. Number C73, Abyss Supra Splash. Cool. Carbonetton. <laughs> Must be another version of Hydrogeton or something. Number 73, Abyss Splash. Alright, so you got the C and the normal number, so I could use these together. Two level 5 water monsters. Parasycroid. Rank Up Magic Quick Chaos. I knew there was new Rank Up Magics too. Target one number exceeds monster you control except a number C monster. Special summon from your extra deck one number C monster with the same number and its name as that target but one rank higher by using the as an XYZ material. Special summon is treated as an XYZ summon. XYZ materials attached to the target also become XYZ materials on the summoned monsters. Cool. We have a little combo action going on. First side about to be done. Another Abyss Rock Sunrise, Final Fusion, Rising Sun Slash, Wiretap, and Mound of the Bound Creator. And for our second side, Sabatiel the Philosopher's Stone, number C73, Carboneton, and Gate Blocker. Oops. Okay. Get this trash out the way. Okay, new cards, always so slippery. Got a bunch of. Supers, just a whole stack of supers. Okay. Another Celestial Star Yatos, Prominent Hand. Now they're getting another rank of magic. Secret. Now it's starting to get repetitive. Okay. Okay, card 
it's getting repetitive now. Shadow and Pulse. Reaper Sight with the Guardian Dread Sight. Fusion, Relay Soul, I haven't seen this card yet. Special Summon Monster Friend, while it's face up on your side of the field, you take no damage. When it leaves the field, your opponent wins the duel. Who would ever want that? Guardian Iatos and Ra's Disciple. Alright, nice to have two of those now. Another soul charge. And finally, Legendary Knight Tamias. I was waiting for this one. This was the best knight out of the three. Cannot be normal summoned or set. Must be special summoned with Legend of Heart, which we have gotten. And cannot be special summoned other ways. When this card is special summoned, you can target one face-up spell trap card on the field. Banish that target. When this card is targeted for an attack, you can target one spell card in your graveyard. Set that target. Nice. This guy is nice. Okay. Oh my god. Four more, five more packs. And got a soul charge. Put that open. Black Wing Hurricane the Tornado. Another Guardian Yatos, Flash Fusion, and Ice Hand. Four more. Another final fusion. Assault dog. Giant red hand. Express train <laughs> trolley ollie. <laughs> All right, no doubt. Three more. Black Sonic. Two more. Tried to make it as quick as I could. Okay. New Black Wing that I haven't seen. Wire trap. <laughs> Mathematician. When this card is normal summon, you could send one level four lower monster from your deck to the graveyard. When this card is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, you can draw one card. That's mathematics right there. And the last pack. Cycloid, Train Connection, Black Man Revenge, and Mound of the Bound Creator. And that is it. Got a big stack of supers. Wow. That is huge. 
and a nice big stack of secrets with our legendary knight Tamias on the top. And there you have it. I'm going to be having probably one more opening. The Dragons of Legend maybe. Because I have another box coming in. Now we'll go online and see what cards I didn't get. I know I don't have the Dark Magician Girl at night. So kind of disappointed about that. But at least we got this Legendary Knight Tamias out of it. So thank you for watching guys. Like, subscribe, comment below. And look out for next videos. Thank you.